Thanks for joining us for another edition of Issues and Answers. I'm Ian Boyne. Today we talk about the importance of, of dialogue, the importance of collaboration. And we sp speak specifically of the Caribbean Canada Emerging Leaders uh, Dialogue Meeting, the, the conclusion of which will be held in Jamaica. We have two persons who have been intimately associated with this uh, program. Uh, Sandra Glasgow, former co-chair of the 2011 uh, program, and Omar Sweeney, uh, who was a participant in the program and was also intimately involved in this year's planning. We thank you so much for your uh, company. Ladies and gentlemen, good to, to have you on Issues and Answers. Thank you. Thank um, you, uh, Sandra, you were involved with the 2011 program. Um, give us a background to this. Uh, Caribbean Canada Emerging Leaders Dialogue. What is that about? Well, the dialogue came out of a very successful uh, Commonwealth Leaders Conference, which has been held since 1956 and which was started by the Duke of Edinburgh in the UK. Uh, that, uh, con those conferences brought together leaders from all over the Commonwealth. And in the lat latter years, they have been twinning certain parts of the Commonwealth. So we have Africa Pacific programs or mm -hmm. Canada Pacific programs. And in 2011, we had the first Canada Caribbean Emerging Leaders Dialogue. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was a Caribbean Canada Emerging oh. Leaders Dialogue. Mm -hmm. And we are repeating it this year. Mm -hmm. And it's really an initiative to develop leaders. And the program is unique because it brings together leaders, young leaders in different sectors. Uh, we focus on the private sector, government, labor, and um, the uh, not-for-profit not sector. Yes, yes. Civil society. Yes. Civil society. Mm -hmm. And those leaders come together and spend about two weeks uh, between uh, Canada and the Caribbean meeting other leaders, mm -hmm. uh, learning to work together to explore issues that are common to both regions mm -hmm. and to really cement um, the relationships between them. Because, you know, really, uh, leadership is all about how you relate to people. Yes. And so it really puts uh, leaders in a situation where um, they're honing their leadership competences and learning a lot more about each other than they would normally do on their own. Yes. Omar, how useful did you find this um, dialogue as, as a former participant? Well, uh, you know, i tell you something. And, and in our society, there's so much talk about leadership and leading and, and emerging leaders. And in 2011, when Scotiabank had launched the, the dialogue um, here, I'd seen it in the media, uh -huh. the article on the launch. Uh, they, were, they were a major sponsor. They are a major sponsor this year. And um, I was immediately drawn to it. Uh, I was drawn to it simply because the way it was structured. It wasn't very um, formal and, yeah. and, and teaching type <laughs> yes. leadership. And what I found, not knowing what to expect when I got to Ottawa, mm -hmm. uh, was that they really did an excellent job in targeting the leaders that came. You know, I found myself really surrounded by 119 other persons with similar um, aspirations like myself, really just wanting to know, you know, how do you really take on some of life challenges and how do you solve some of life's problems? And um, being able to have that free flow and, and exposure to so many different um, aspects, um, like Sandra pointed mm -hmm. out, you know, from labor, NGO, government, private sector, and seeing their perspective to the same problems that we all face as leaders um, was really useful. And, and, and the period of not only being exposed there, but also being, being put in different environments. I mean, we went from the boardroom of the headquarters of Scotiabank mm -hmm. to a tribal council of the Native yeah. Indians in Canada. Is and I mean, cool? and you, you have to adapt and be able to engage mm -hmm. and really and dive in at what the issues are. And so um, this was something that was really, um, in Belize, we found ourselves similarly in um, like a tribal Indian um, rural countryside area, which coming from the region, you'd think never, you know, you'd be exposed to such a thing and see what the leadership issues are because each and every single place um, we were strategically thrust into um, leadership councils and, and things, people solving everyday problems. So uh, it really was a period that I found to be most useful. And if anything, I learned that um, really we're all leaders in our own right. 
and um, the recognition of that is something that's important as leaders that we can understand and be able to you know, help us to, 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 to be successful. We're talking about uh, leadership, more particularly the Caribbean Canada Emerging Leaders um, Dialogue, the final session of which will be held in Jamaica. We take a break, but we'll be right back. Mm -hmm.